Because I got to tell you the truth, folks. I got to tell you the truth. When it comes to bullshit, big time major league bullshit. You Japan's science ministry has released a map projecting cumulative radiation exposure near the Fukushima Daiichi plant over the next year. It's the ministry's first estimate of long-term contamination. The contour map shows the total amount of radiation a person would be exposed to through March 11th of next year by staying outdoors for eight hours a day. It's based on readings at more than 2,000 points near the plant on or before last Thursday. The area within the red line shows where annual exposure is expected to reach the safety limit of 20 millisieverts or more. The area spreads to the northwest of the plant. Earlier this month, the government announced an expansion of the evacuation zone, which included the area to the northwest. Goshi Hosono, a senior member of the government's nuclear task force, says it's unlikely the new map will prompt a change in the evacuation zone. The science ministry says it'll update the data twice a month on its website. It also says it plans to release a map of radiation levels in the soil. TEPCO has reassessed its estimates of number of damaged fuel rods in reactors number one, two, and three. The original estimates were found to be incorrect. The company released its initial assessments based on radiation levels in the reactors and their containment vessels as of March 15th. But Japan's nuclear safety agency questioned the accuracy of the figures. TEPCO announced on Wednesday that it has re revised the estimated percentage of damaged fuel rods in the number one reactor from 70 percent to 55 percent. It said the radiation level that the original figure was based on were not correct. The company also says that it acted inappropriately in excluding rods that were less than 5 percent damaged when assessing the situation in the number two and number three reactors. As a result, the utility revised its estimates of damaged fuel rods in the number two and three reactors upward by 5 percentage points each to 35 percent and 30 percent respectively. Earlier this month, the Nuclear Safety Agency raised the crisis level at the Fukushima plant to seven, the highest level on the international scale. This was based on its estimate of the volume released radioactive substances. TEPCO says the corrective fuel rod damage estimates will not affect the agency's crisis rating. A woman working at the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant has been exposed to radiation more than three times the legal safety limit. The woman in her 50s showed no health problems in a medical checkup. Her employer, Tokyo Electric Power Company, says she was in charge of managing disaster-related supplies and showing firefighters around the plant's compound. The woman worked at the plant for 11 days after the March 11th earthquake and tsunami and was exposed to 17 point five five millisieverts of radiation the figure is more than three times the permissible amount for women which is set at five millisieverts per three months she may have been she may have inhaled radioactive material when uh, taking off protective gear as internal exposure accounted for much of the total the company is now measuring radiation expo exposure of other female workers at the plant Tokyo Electric Power Company has begun testing one of the damaged reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant to see if it can proceed with a plan to submerge the fuel rods. A robot took this photo inside a number one reactor building on Tuesday. TEPCO on Wednesday increased the rate of water injection into the number one reactor. The company will monitor changes in the water level to check for leaks in the containment vessels. The firm hopes to fill the number one and number three reactors containment vessels with water by mid-July to cool and stabilize the fuel rods. The company initially planned to increase the amount to 14 tons per hour at around 4 p.m., but is keeping the injection at 10 tons per hour because the data from the number one reactor is not stable. The utility states it will then lower the rate back to 6 tons per hour by Thursday morning and send robots into the reactor building to see and check if there's any leak. TEPCO also mentioned it will make sure the containment vessel can withstand strong aftershocks with the extra water weight inside. The firm says robots on Tuesday detected radiation levels of up, up to 1,120 millisieverts per hour inside the number one reactor building. It also indicates some contaminated water may be leaking from the reactor into external pipes. 
TEPCO now says it is unlikely that water is leaking from the spent fuel rod pool of the Fukushima Daiichi Power Plant's number four reactor. Water is being injected into the pool to replace coolant that's evaporating due to the high temperature of its 1,535 spent fuel rods. Despite sporadically injecting 140 to 210 tons of water a day, the company says the water level in the storage pool is still 10 to 40 centimeters lower than estimated. TEPCO initially believed that the pool could have suffered damage in an explosion soon after the March 11th quake and tsunami disaster. But the company said on Wednesday that it now believes the water has been evaporating at a rate in line with calculations. The storage pool is to be reinforced by July and the company will continue monitoring the water level for abnormalities. Japan to scrap workers' normal annual radiation dose limits. The Health Ministry of Japan plans to scrap the annual radiation dose limit for nuclear power plant workers at normal times to secure enough workers for maintenance and checkups of nuclear power plants other than the crisis hit Fukushima power station, sources close to the matter said on Wednesday. So why? Why are the scrap and the dose limit that's set in place already? Um, for workers to perform maintenance and checkups to protect them while they're performing maintenance and checkups if uh, unless the radiation at those other power stations is also escalating. 